In this video lesson, we will be applying the theorems on triangle inequalities. Let's start with the side angle inequality theorem. We already know that the longest side is the opposite of the largest angle and the shortest side is the opposite of the smallest angle. We will order the angles from the smallest to largest. Using this figure, let us have first the shortest side which is 13 cm and the opposite of the shortest side is angle F. Next is 18 cm. The opposite of 18 cm is angle T. Longest side is 20 cm and the opposite of it is angle W. Let's have another. In this one, the shortest side is 13 cm which is side UN and its opposite is angle F. Next is 15 cm. The opposite of Fn is angle U. And the last one we have 25 cm which has the largest angle which is angle N. Next we have the angle side inequality theorem wherein the largest angle is the opposite of the longest side and the smallest angle is the opposite of the shortest side. We will find the measure of the missing angles to name the shortest and the longest side. In this figure, first we need to find the value of x. In order for us to get the value of x, we need to add all the angles. So we have the measurement of angle A plus the measurement of angle I plus the measurement of angle D is equal to 180 degrees, which is the total measurement of the interior angles of a triangle. The measurement of angle A is x plus 15. Angle I is obviously right angle, so this is 90. And angle D is 2x is equal to 180. Next, we will combine like terms. We have x plus 2x, we have 3x. And then the constant, we have 15 plus 90, that is 105 copy equals 180. We will use the left and the right side. We will collect the terms with variable at the left side and the constant in the right side. So let's start with 3x. We will just copy 3x and then let's have positive 105. Since it is at the left side, we need to transpose. It will become negative 105 and then we have 180. So we will just copy. So we will have 3x is equals to negative 105 plus 180, unlike sign minus, copy the sign of the bigger number. So we have 75. And then in order for us to get the value of x, we will divide both sides by 3. 3x divided by 3, that is x. And then we have 75 divided by 3, that is 25. So the value of x here is 25. Now let us find the value of each angle. For the measurement of angle x, we have x plus 15. And we already know that x is 25. So we will just substitute x, it will become 25. The measurement of angle A will become 25 plus 15. And it is 40. Next we have the measurement of angle D, which is 2x, we will substitute the value of x, which is 25. The measurement of angle D is 2 times 25, and that is 50. And then obviously, we have the measurement of angle I, which is 90 degrees. In here, we can already name the shortest and the longest side. Let's start with the shortest side. Look at the angles. Which angle is the smallest? We have the angle A. And the opposite of angle A is side ID. For the longest side, we have 90. And the opposite of 90 is side AD. Let's have another example. Using this figure, we need to find the value of X first. But 
In here, we need to apply the exterior angle theorem. What does it mean? The exterior angle theorem means if we add the two remote interior angles, we will get the sum as the exterior angles. So if we add the measurement of angle W plus the measurement of angle A, we will get the exterior angle which is 125. The measurement of angle W is X plus the measurement of angle A which is X plus 5 equals 125. Next, we will combine the like terms. We have X plus X that is 2X. Copy the constant 5 and then copy equals 125. Afterwards, we will use the left and the right side. Let's start with 2x. It is the correct position, so we will just copy. And then we have positive 5. It should be at the right side, so it will become negative 5. And then we have 125. It is at the correct position, so we will just copy it. And then we will simplify. We have 2x equals negative 5 plus 125. That is unlike sign minus so we will have 120. Let's continue. 2x is equals to 120. We will divide both sides by 2 to get the value of x. 2x divided by 2, that is x. And then 120 divided by 2, that is 60. So the value of x here is 60. We can now solve the measurement of angle W and angle A. For the measurement of angle W, it is X, so angle W is 60. For the measurement of angle A, it is X plus 5, so we will just substitute X. It will become 60 plus 5. So the measurement of angle A is 65. In order for us to get the missing interior angle, we need to add the two interior angles. And then we will subtract it by 180. So the measurement of this angle is 55. Now that we already have the measurement of the interior angles, we can now name the shortest and the longest side. Looking at the figure, our smallest angle is 55. So it is the opposite of the shortest side. So we have side AW. And the Largest angle is angle A, which is 65, opposite of the longest side, which is WE. Let us now have the side 1 plus side 2 greater than side 3, where in, in any triangle, the sum of the lengths of any two sides is greater than the length of its third side. Let's have the first example. Two sides of a triangle measures 11 and 8, respectively. Find the range of the possible measures of the third side. So here we have the lengths of the side which are 11, 8, and the missing which is x. We will find the range. So we will find the highest value and the lowest value which is possible to be the third side. So in here we will start with x. The x or the third side should be greater than we will subtract the values of the two sides. So we have 11 minus 8 and it should be less than the sum of the given two sides which are 11 and 8. Next, we will just simplify. So we will start at the middle. X is greater than 11 minus 8 that is 3 but it should be less than 11 plus 8 which is 19. So the range of the third side is greater than 3 but less than 19. Let's have the next one. The lengths of RC and CL are 14 cm and 11 cm respectively. What is the range of the values of LR? So LR is our missing third term. So we have the 14 cm for RC, 11 cm for CL, and the missing side is LR. So we will start with LR. The third side should be greater than the difference of the two sides. So we have 14 minus 11, but it should be 
less than the, the sum of the two sides, which is 14 plus 11. So LR is greater than 14 minus 11, that is 3, but less than 14 plus 11, which is 25. So this is the range of LR. Next, let's have the exterior angle inequality theorem. It states that the measure of an exterior angle of a triangle is greater than the measure of either of the two remote interior angles. We already know where the exterior angle and the two remote interior angles are located. So in this figure, angles less than the measurement of angle 4. Angle 4 is an exterior angle. So what are the angles less than the measurement of angle 4? We have angle 2 and angle 3 because these two angles are its two remote interior angles. Next, what are the angles greater than the measurement of angle 2? So we have angle 2. Angle 2 is interior angle. So we need to find the angles greater than its measurement. So we have angle 4 and angle 5 because angle 4 and angle 5 are both exterior angle and angle 2 is their remote interior angle. Let us have the inequalities in two triangles and how can we apply them. Let's start with the hinge theorem. If two sides of a triangle are congruent to two sides of another, and the included angle of the first is larger than included angle of the second. Then the third side of the first triangle is longer than the third side of the second triangle. Or this is called as SAS inequality theorem. Let us have the example for hinge theorem. Write an inequality or set of inequalities to describe the possible values of x. Using this figure, we can observe that the Two sides which have the different measurement are CA and RE. CA is 16 and RE is 18. The opposite angle of CA is angle E which is 20 degrees while the opposite of RE is 4X minus 4. Meaning 4X minus 4 should be greater than 20 because 18 is higher than 16 and then we will use the left and the right side let's start with 4x 4x is at the correct position so we will just copy and then we have negative 4 we need to transpose negative 4 so it will become positive 4 and then we have 20 so we will just copy 20 we will copy the inequality symbol greater than. Copy 4x. And then we have 4 plus 20 which is 24 greater than. In order for us to get the value of x, we need to divide both sides by 4. And then we have 4x divided by 4. That is x greater than 24 divided by 4 is 6. So, x should be greater than 6. How about the maximum value for x minus 4? Be less than the total measurement of one triangle which is 180 degrees. It should not be exceeding 180 degrees. So, we will have the left and the right side. We will start with 4x. 4x is at the correct position. So, we will just copy. And then we have negative 4. That will become positive 4 because we will transpose it into the other side and then copy 180. Let's have less than. Copy 4x. We have 4 plus 180 that is 184. And then we need to divide both sides by 4 in order for us to get the value of x. 4x divided by 4 that is x and it should be less than. 46. So in here, the values of x should be greater than 6 but less than 46. Let's have the last one, the converse of hinge theorem. If two sides of a triangle are congruent to two sides of another, and the third side of the first is longer than the third side of the second, 
then the included angle in the first triangle is greater than the included angle in the second triangle. Or this is a SSS inequality theorem. Let's have this example. Write an inequality or set of inequalities to describe the possible values of x. Using this figure, we need to get the angles with different measurements. So we have angle R and A, which is 42 degrees, and angle E and G, which is 36 degrees. So what is the symbol, inequality symbol, that we will be using? 42 degrees is greater than 36 degrees. The opposite of angle R and A is this side, side RA, which is 8x minus 4, and the opposite of 30 and the opposite of 36 degrees is this side, which is 28. So we will use the left and the right side. Let's start with 8x. 8x should be copied because it is at the correct position. And then let's have negative 4. Negative 4 should be at the right side, so it will become positive 4. And then 28, we need to copy it also. And then copy the inequality symbol greater than. So we have 8x, 4 plus 28, that is 32. So copy the inequality symbol. To get the value of x, we need to divide both sides by 8. So the value of x here is greater than 4. This is only the limit or the inequality of x since we can use unlimited for the side, unlike for the angles. 